J.K. Rowling is under fire after posting a series of controversial tweets, which Glad described as, quote, targeting trans people. Many stars, including Sarah Paulson, Jamila Jamil, and Jonathan Van Ness, criticized the Harry Potter author over the social media posts, which Rowling has stood behind. The controversy began when the writer retweeted an article with the headline, Opinion, creating a more equal post-COVID world for people who menstruate. She then appeared to take a jab at the use of non-gendered language in the phrase, people who menstruate, writing, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumbin, wimpund, wumud? Many proceeded to call out Rowling, calling her viewpoint transphobic, and pointing out that people who don't identify as women can menstruate, including many who are transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming. And that some who do identify as women don't menstruate. Many stars spoke out against her words too. Queer Eyes Jonathan Van Ness wrote, trans women are women. Trans black people and trans non-black people are discriminated against every single day. They're dying. We're fighting for black people and trans people and you're doing this? And when Rowling reacted to all of the backlash, tweeting, feminazi, turf, bitch, witch, times change. Woman hate is eternal. Jonathan replied, we just hate transphobia, lady. Same love singer Mary Lambert wrote, what the actual f This is so disgraceful, JK Rowling. Of all the hills to die on, and for what reason? Trans women are women and they are fighting for their lives. When you push this trans exclusionary agenda, you make their lives infinitely more difficult. Shame on you. Sarah Paulson simply wrote, good night and shut up, JK Rowling. Broadway star Anthony Rapp tweeted, she has such a powerful voice. Why is she using that voice to die on a hill of transphobia? It is damaging and sad and makes zero sense. Is it really her belief that trans women somehow threaten her own selfhood? What is she so f afraid of? And trans drag superstar and RuPaul's Drag Race alum, Peppermint, wrote, We get it. Failure to express empathy for trans women, trans men, and non-binary folk shows us exactly who you are. You spitefully pushing these words that connect with those of people who do not want us recognized legally in public spaces. Your heart is exposed. Glad, meanwhile, tweeted in part, JK Rowling continues to align herself with an ideology which willfully distorts facts about gender identity and people who are trans. In 2020, there is no excuse for targeting trans people. We stand with trans youth, especially those Harry Potter fans hurt by her inaccurate and cruel tweets. When met with criticism, Rowling claimed that she had done her homework, writing, I've spent much of the last three years reading books, blogs, and scientific papers by trans people, medics, and gender specialists. I know exactly what the distinction is. Never assume that because someone thinks differently, they have no knowledge. In another Twitter thread, she continued to argue, if sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. The idea that women like me, who've been empathetic to trans people for decades, feeling kinship because they're vulnerable in the same way as women, i.e. to male violence, hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences, is a nonsense. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so.